Hey guys, so we're in Dublin, Ireland here, is, and we're going to go through Boris Dental Laboratories, our factory where your teeth are made. So we're going to walk through the space, follow me inside. So we can see over here units seven and eight, so all of this space is our space. So we're going to walk inside and go through each department in the laboratory. So for our patients here, we've got a separate entrance. So you'll see Boris Dental Lab. We've got multiple entrances for our equipment and storage, but the patients will go through Unit 8, which is right here. So come on inside. So firstly, we've got some storage here, some minor storage, and then you'll come straight ahead here. There's some bathrooms if you need to use them. And the first room is a 3D printing room. So we'll go in and have a look. So these are the various uh, medical grade 3D printers and they manufacture our models and our teeth to a 50 micron uh, level precision. So we keep the resin separate and we've got different brands of printers depending on need. So Robert here manages the 3D printing. So he nests the files as they come in for the machines. So you can zoom in on the screen here. We'll show you a typical example. Here we've got different models of teeth and Robert has put them on the build plate. This is the Form 4B printer which will show the print time, the amount of resin which is required. We can see here a 50 micron layer thickness, the, the type of model, we're using a precision model here, the name of the printer, so nice name, Whispering Ape, and print times, etc. So Robert here is our printing genius and he's in charge of all of that. So next we've got a little photography room. So this is where our ceramists take photos. So when you come in as a patient, you'll typically take a seat here in the waiting area. You'll be offered a tea or coffee while you wait. And then our ceramists will take some photos in here along with a shade guide. So often patients ask us, how do we know what color to pick for their teeth? So we've got a wide variety of different uh, shades. And often we'll show you these together with a mirror. And we'll take some photos with these uh, special cameras, and not just of your teeth, but of your face and of your gums. So we'll come on in this way. Hey guys, hey. So in here, this is our milling room, and I'll actually take this as an example. We've got all the various mills. So this is a large metal mill, so we can open inside there. We've got different tooling, so we can open the mag door. You can see all the various tools which are used as part of the subtractive manufacturing. We'll put in a uh, disc, so these are metal mills, so we'll take titanium blanks like this. It's a very powerful spindle here, a 2.8 kilowatt spindle, which is capable of milling any geometry with the cam. So that's one type of mill. So we'll just close that for a second and we'll close the mag door. Then we've got various zirconia mills. So this one's actually running, so you can zoom inside there, you can see it a tool is actively working on a blank and it'll take and produce something like this where out of a single block of zirconia we get some teeth. Over here this is our IMS i -Core 350. This is our baby and uh, workhorse. It's precisely manufacturing um, the teeth. So this is to 3-4 micron uh, precision. These machines are all quite heavy. That one, actually the AM M580 is over uh, half a ton so that it doesn't move when the tool hits the workpiece. To accurately manufacture, we need to nest the files, the STL files in the CAM software. So this is the computer assisted milling software. Each machine has its own piece of software. So uh, VHF is a German uh, manufacturer. It uses a hyperdent um, back end with their own uh, user interface, their own front end. Uh, Millbox is an Italian uh, CAM software. Uh, so the uh, IMS i -Core, which is a German machine, uses their software with their own post processor. So here's the last one of our machinists. <laughs> you know, so the machinists, the CAM machinists, specifically operate uh, the machines. And critically, they also service the machines, so once a week we calibrate them, amongst other things, uh, changing out the tools, uh, checking the tool lives, inserting the correct tools into the machines, the correct diameters of blanks, operating the CAM software, so they're extremely technical. So there's all the various zirconia diameters and blanks that we have for manufacturing. And I'll show you actually some of the tools so you get an idea. So if we look at something like this, this is a tool for the IMS i -Core. so that's the sort of thing that will go and touch the zirconia and accurately mill it. And all the machines have different tool sizes uh, depending on the job that they need to do. And we'll go into our design and ceramic room. 
actually, while we go there, this is Evelyn, our laboratory manager. So this is her office. Hey, Evelyn. <laughs> so just say hi to the guys, because we're doing a little tour of our space. So Evelyn is uh, the champion who uh, makes it all kind of run and work. Is. So actually, we have a few uh, examples here of, of various. This, is, uh, this would be titanium. So you can see it's actually uh, machined and polished on the fitting surface. Um, but the area where the zirconia needs to be bonded on, it's roughened to improve it, the bond strength of the uh, veneering material on top of it. Then we've got um, various uh, zirconia teeth. This is monolithic zirconia. So with the gums and teeth, these are uh, printed. Uh, we were in the printing room earlier, uh, materials. So depending on what the use is, we've got different materials, different manufacturing uh, techniques. So this is where our, our patients wait for their uh, photography. And then finally we'll go in. Hey guys. We'll start with design actually. So if we go over here, sorry, I'm just gonna, yeah, <laughs> you're on the spot, Iga. We're just gonna show the uh, kind of life cycle. So you see here, Iga's using uh, ExoCAD software. It's a dental CAD to design an individual smile. That in turn will create a, an STL file. So here, this, this individual is getting four, their four front teeth made. So yeah, it'll generate an STL file. Off that STL file, we can actually then show the patient a digital smile design and take that then to the manufacturing stage. Yeah, so Artyom is doing the same thing. So he's doing a full mouth of crayons actually. So, and he's adjusting the bite on the software. And this area here is the uh, ceramic space. So we're painting teeth on. So if we go through an example, Oh, this is a good example because this is, uh, this would be like a metal substructure. So you see we've milled metal and then we have a veneering zirconia on top of it for this individual is for added flexibility. Um, so Anastasia is doing that. Well, yeah, here's the shade. I'll, sh I'll show them that just so. So you see we've taken photos of the patient's own teeth and then the, our goal color. And then Jennifer here is polishing off the zirconia supports. So when yeah, zirconia is sintered, it still has the supports from the milling portion. And these supports need to be removed by hand and then polished. So the teeth come out like this and then we, we color them on. So I'll give you that back. And then they actually, sorry, end up, this is a first fix. You see the gums have been colored on. These are the little screw access channels through which we fix the teeth on. So this is more advanced in its life cycle. Um, yeah, so we'll keep on going here. Surahe has, has some more full mouth, full arches here, still early in their production. I'll just leave that here so I don't... Uh, um, and these are the different ceramics. So we create color by mixing all of these different uh, shades and then putting them onto the teeth. And again, if the, if the uh, ceramist which is really a, a painter, has all of the colors, they can make a better match. So Karen is doing the same thing, although Karen, you're, you're doing some actual ceramic veneers or porcelain veneers. Nice. How many units is that? 12. 12 units. So yeah, these are when, when patients uh, want their teeth uh, changed or maybe for a better color. So you have a situation like this where this is a different patient again, but um, this is Emax, which is a, a, a lithium disilicate material, and this is pre sinter so it's purple in its uh, shade now. When we fire it in the porcelain uh, furnace, then it will turn uh, that color. So, and you see that's uh, nice and kind of shiny. So Karen is first checking the fit and adjusting anything uh, prior to firing to make sure the fit is perfect, and then polishing it up. Yeah, so that's uh, referred to as Emax or lithium disilicate. Um, and again, here we are bonding to titanium bases using resin cements. Over here, we've got various types of furnaces. Over here, this one is coming out of the furnace now and slowly cooling. These furnaces, they go up to 1600 degrees. So for zirconia in its uh, raw state, this is a good example actually, it's about uh, 20 to 25 percent bigger than in its post-sintered state. So uh, these sintering furnaces, we calibrate them 
you see to go from zero degrees to just over a thousand and then from a thousand to fifteen hundred and there's a very specific um, sintering cycle in terms of the degrees per minute that it has to go up by uh, followed by a cooling cycle to make sure that the material doesn't shrink or is compressed too much so we have to slowly heat them and slowly cool them and uh, also keep them at a stable temperature so we set up all these sintering cycles um, and calibrate all the machines so this is something we're very uh, good with and we spend a lot of time on so the larger machines are um, sintering furnaces they go up to uh, 1600 degrees plus the smaller machines here they're referred to as ceramic furnaces so we can see there's a tooth here this is an onlay so they only go to about 650 degrees you can see here currently it's at 403 degrees and this is for um, a lithium disilicate uh, impress and for general ceramic powders which are layered on top of the zirconia so it's uh, slightly different to put this into perspective we have more sintering capacity than the rest of the country combined these machines are capable of doing 10,000 plus units a month it's a lot so there's slightly different brands this is Ivoclar this is Cameo so then we're working on again these are more veneers yeah and then at Diego's desk we've got another full arch this is a sinter bar so when we sinter full mouth teeth we insert a bar as a stabilizer so that it absorbs the excess heat and doesn't cause any uh, micro cracks to form in the material so it's critical to do that and then these bits are polished off okay so this is the ceramic room we've got some admin here too so we'll go into the next space this is the removable department so we'll go in there and have a look now so for dentures night guards anything which comes in and out of your mouth so that that department is fixed prosthodontics so teeth which are don't come out of your mouth so here we have a department which is a removables department prior to that this is a plaster room so we mix stone and we use this uh, machine here which is a sandblaster so we take uh, little aluminium particles and we etch materials when needed little Wasserman from Hamburg Germany so we mix stone here we grind it the steam cleaner as we get the stone models uh, ready so we are a completely digital lab from a, the point of view of fixed prosthodontics but for dentures it is advantageous to take compression sometimes so we'll go through hey guys hey guys hey we're just walking through the space to show the team how removable dentures are made so actually here's an example so we're polishing these by hand and we've got some wax here do you mind if i show them for a sec i'll give this back to you thank you so we've got a patient here who's missing several teeth so first we wax everything up we select the teeth that they like in color and then we're going to flask this after a try-in we've got some admin here so once items are packaged and ready to go we create an invoice and put them in the, the correct box and label them on the software and here we've got a, a trimmer from VHF in Germany so it trims the model uh, any models so we don't have to do it by hand it's also slightly more accurate we'll see what the guys are, are working on here so the various tooth setups yeah so this machine marks the undercuts so we know is as we trace out on the teeth where we can place our clasps for retention so unless there's an undercut in a tooth um, we can't place a clasp there because uh, it won't hook into anything so you can see he's very very uh, carefully placing a clasp there there's the various uh, options for teeth so these are all acrylic teeth so after we've surveyed this is called a surveyor is we'll do that and over here we're much further along in our setup yeah we've got almost all the teeth set up in wax now a little bunsen burner is uh, we're wor working away and these are real hands the real hands of a dental technician <laughs> it's permanently in acrylic here we've got the storage of all the various uh, tooth sizes and colors um, and everything uh, along with <coughs> presses so we can uh, flask and then pressure pots polishing so we can smoothen the dentures after they come out and again steam cleaning yeah yeah so we went through where we take photos 
we design the teeth, then we manufacture the teeth, then we go back and sinter the teeth to harden them, is finish them and uh, polish them, finally package them, and then they go out for the dentists to fit. So we'll show you the storage, and this is a critical component because the storage allows us to keep our costs competitive and push the savings onto patients. So come on in here. So you can see here we store quite a lot of material. We buy things in bulk and by, by buying things in bulk we simply get discounts, better rates. We then take those rates and we push them onto patients. It's that simple. So here we have a warehouse uh, team and a supply chain logistics team, a delivery team. So all of it is vertically integrated and uh, by being organized, we're able to supply ourselves and the laboratory and then uh, push those savings onto patients. Okay guys, so we, we, are, uh, we look forward to seeing you in the lab. Is as part of your process of getting your teeth done, there's a good chance you may end up here for color matching or if you simply want to come down and have a look, meet the team. Is, um, and thank you so much for choosing uh, Truly Dental.